All right, yeah, welcome to today's workout. We have Holly helping us out today. We're going to do a 25-minute workout. We're starting off with 20 seconds of run in place. Let's go ahead and get it going. Just a nice light running in place. We got a three-minute warm-up. Each exercise is 20 seconds long. We'll take a quick break, and then we'll get into the good stuff, get into our circuits. Here we go, here we go. Five more seconds. We're going right into up-downs. Three, two, awesome. Let's tap those toes, a little jump in the air. There you go. Notice how she has a shoulder width apart with the legs. As she goes down, it's a slight bend on the knees, and then she's fully extending those arms up there. There we go. If you can't do your jumps yet, all you got to do is tap the toes and then drive your arms up without the jump. Let's get a couple more in here. We're going into high knees. Three, two, perfect. Let's high knee it up now. So we're really getting those legs up if you can. She's staying light on her feet. Shoulders are back. Her core staying engaged, controlling the breathing. If for some reason you can't do the high knees yet, all you got to do is march it in place. Just drive those knees up there. Eventually you'll be able to run it out a little bit better. Ready, three, two, let's go down to push-up position. We'll get a nice angled view here. There we go. So if you can do a few on your toes, you can start on the toes. If you need to go straight to your knees, that's not a problem. Either way, we want to get those key checkpoints on the form. The chest is leading the movement. There we go. The lower back staying in strong. Core's in tight. There we go. Keeping the arms tight in the middle. We'll do one more push-up and bring it on up. And got it. Let's bring it on up. Regular squat position now. Slightly more than shoulder width apart. Driving the hips way back there. Good. There we go. So if you're feeling that heart rate coming up already, just focus on that breathing. You want to go in through the nose as you go down and then big out breath as you come up. Good. Notice how she's leading the motion with the hips, making sure all of the weight's staying through your heels. We've got five more seconds. We're going right into an alternate reverse lunge. Last one. Perfect. Let's alternate reverse lunge now, taking a big step back. Perfect. So the big focuses for this one are we want to make sure this front leg stays as close as it can to 90 degrees. So you want to make sure that the knee doesn't go over your toe at all. And she's keeping her upper body posture really strong, her core staying engaged. If you're having any balance stability problems with this one, get close to the wall. Hold on to anything sturdy just to help you keep balanced. One more here. All right, let's drop down to mountain climbers now. Chest directly over the thumbs. Perfect. So she's kind of going at a running mountain climber pace. I'm going to have her slow down to show you how you can do the mountain climbers at a little bit slower pace. She's doing a great job of keeping good form. If you can keep good form like she's doing with a completely straight and neutral spine, you can go a little bit faster with the mountain climbers. But start off at a slow pace. Make sure the form stays really strong and straight with that back. One more over there. Three, two. All right, let's bring it on up to plie squat position now. We're doing full plie squats. So all she did is she went from a regular squat stance, rotated the feet out slightly wider than shoulder width apart. All the rules of the squat are, uh, stay with the plie squat. Hips are going back, weight staying through the heels. After this, we have some high knees, and then you'll take your break. Five more seconds. Great plie squats over here. Ready? Three, two, all right, let's high knee it up. There we go. Leaning it back. The heart rate should be nice and high by now. That's why we're going to take a little break to so make sure you still have some, have some conditioning for those circuits coming up. Here we go. There we go, there we go. Just five more seconds. March it out if you need to. Getting those shoulders back and down. Three, two, all right. Let's take a 30-second break. Coming back for circuit number one. All right, y'all, we have circuit number one. We're starting off in the plie squat position. We're going for 30 seconds, wide stance, rotating them out. There we go. Notice how Holly's leading that motion back with her hips, keeping the weight through the heels the whole time. 
Upper body is completely straight, core is engaged. She's got a really good pace here. You wanna find your rhythm, go as fast as you can, making sure that you're keeping good form the whole time. There we go. Trying to control your breathing. You wanna go in through the nose, in through the nose as you go down, big out breath as you go up. There we go, five more seconds. We're going down to push-up position. Ready, three, two, all right. Let's go down to push-ups. Gonna get a good side view here. Holly's starting on her toes. If you can start on the toes and do push-ups like she's doing, you go ahead and do that. You want to go at least halfway down. That's the rule with the toe push-ups. We'll go ahead and let her drop to her knees now to finish off. There we go. Form is very important with the push-ups. You don't want to jut the head forward and you don't want to let the lower back sway. If you, try to, if you avoid those two things, you're going to have great push-ups. We'll do one more and then bring it up. And All right, let's pop it on up. We're going to alternating reverse lunges. There we go. So the best way to do these by taking a big step back and we want to keep this front leg as close to 90 degrees as you can. Driving all the weight through the front heel. There we go. If you're having problems with staying stable and your balance is suffering a little bit, just get close to a wall, hold on to something sturdy so you can finish these off and get good form so you can progress and get stronger quicker. We'll do one more on the other leg and drop down. All right, let's go down to mountain climber position now. So we're gonna focus on keeping the chest directly over the thumbs. She's got a really good pace here, going one at a time, making sure that form is staying engaged and her back is parallel with the ground the entire time. Perfect. If you find that your heart rate's already coming up, and with this one especially, just control your breathing in through the nose when you're completely uh, extended, and then as that leg comes in, you'll breathe out through the mouth. We'll go one more on that left leg. All right, that round is done. We're going to come up and go back to plie squats. Round number two. There we go. Getting those hips way back there. Form is very important with the squats as well, so you avoid uh, putting any excess pressure on your joints. Making sure that that hip's driving really far back. Keep the weight through the heels. There we go. Powering up. Got it, got it, got it, got it. Good, strong upper body posture. We're going for five more seconds, going down to push-ups. One more back there. Perfect, let's drop down to push-up position. There we go. Push-ups, push-up breathing also in through the nose as you go down. Big out breath to help you through the movement. There we go. Notice how she's also keeping her arms really tight in her body, preventing her arms from flaring out. When you have a lot of flare out, you put excess tension on your shoulders up here and your neck. It also makes your head jut forward, which as we know, we don't want to do that. One, this is the last one. All right, now bring it on up. Alternate reverse lunges. There we go, big step back. She's got nice controlled breathing in through the nose, out through the mouth, good. Go into a wall if we're having any stability or balance problems. Good job, good job. You wanna watch that front knee and make sure it's not going over your toe. If that's happening, you know you probably need to take a little bit further step back. Good job, five more seconds. There we go, last one, perfect. Let's drop down to mountain climber position, chest over those thumbs. There we go. Very important, notice how she, her back is completely straight, her eyes are pointed straight down, the back of her head is perfectly in alignment with her spine there. Really feeling it from the lower core and abs all the way to the upper. If you're rounding your shoulders, you're only gonna be focusing on that upper abs there. Let's go a little bit longer, three. Two, round two done. We got one more going to plie squats. Here we go. Good, good, good. Should start feeling all these by now. So you wanna slow down the form pace if you need to, keeping everything really solid in the middle. Just slow down your breathing, control it. Pause if you need to. You can pause the video or just catch up with us and take a little break if you can. There we go. Getting those hips way back there, powering through your heels, perfect. Awesome, let's go for five more to go and we're going down to push-ups. Ready, three, two, perfect. Push-up position, here we go. Good, arms locked in tight. Watch the head, watch those shoulders shrugging up. She's going all the way down with this, which is ideal. If you need to, just go about halfway down. Always making sure that the form stays strong. 
Good strong core, perfect. One more push up, we'll bring it up, and perfect. Pop it on up. Two more exercises, then we got a break. Alternate reverse lunges. There we go. Driving through that front heel, perfect. Making sure that front heel is doing all the work. Inner thighs are staying strong. Got it, got it, got it. About halfway there. Keep that pace if you can. Slow it down if you need to. There we go, there we go. A little bit longer. Just five more to go. We're going to finish off with our mountain climbers. Ready, three, two, perfect. Mountain climber position, hands and toes. I'm going to have her go halfway on the toes here, and then I'm going to go ahead and let her drop to her knees to show you the slight modification. Five more seconds. We'll go to the knees here. Three, two. All right, let's go to the knees for the climbers. Doing the same exact thing with the legs, just driving them out there. If for some reason you were having trouble keeping that back straight on the toe and hand climbers, go ahead and drop to the knees. You're still getting a lot of good core work, and it'll help strengthen you out so you can progress. A little bit longer there. Three. Two, all right, circuit done, take a break, we're coming back. All right, y'all, we got circuit number two. We're going to start off in the plie squat positions, but we're going to go into a pulse, all right? So we're going to pulse for 20 seconds. So she just did one awesome plie squat, and she's going to stay low as she can. She's about parallel, which is about the ideal position for this. If you need to, of course, you can come up a little bit. The main thing is you want to make sure the hips stay back and the weight stays through the heels no matter how high or low you are. Five more seconds here. We're going down to push-up position. Three. Two, perfect. Push-up position now. Same thing, we're going to go right into a pulse. Halfway point is about the ideal position for this, but if you need to, you come up a little bit. And of course, if you need to take a, a stretch back and, and come back to us, and that's okay too. But the better thing to do would be just to come up a little bit instead of staying so low like Holly's doing now. Five more seconds, we're bringing it on up. Ready, three, two, perfect. Let's bring it up. We're going to a split stance position now. So we're taking one big step back, just like a reverse lunge, and we're going to stay low there and kind of pulse it out. Notice how that front leg is a perfect 90 degrees. That, mean all, that means all the weight is going through that front heel. Five more seconds here. We're going quick on these. Three, two, all right, let's switch legs. Go as low as you can since we're not going for very long. Just kind of getting the body accustomed to doing these types of pulses, which is really great for the muscles. 90 degrees on that front leg. Notice how the lower body's at 90. Her posture is perfect, staying strong up top. A couple more here. Ready? Three, two. All right, we're going down to a plank position now. We're just going to hold the plank for 20 seconds. She's on her forearms. Arms are about shoulder width apart, not clasping the hands and rounding the shoulders, all right? If you clasp your hands, you got to make sure that the back is staying neutral with the, with, the, uh, with the ground. Everything is straight, but it's better to just keep those arms about shoulder width apart, core engaged and tight. Five more seconds here. There we go. Three, two, awesome round there. We're going to start off with our plie squat pulses again for round number two. Driving those hips way back there, perfect. Posture staying up strong. So this, one, this round isn't as cardio intensive as the circuit before, but we are really working those muscles. Get them low, get them low as you can. Come up as you need to. Keep that form solid. Five to go. We're dropping it down. Three, two, perfect. Push-up position now. Good job, good job. Dropping, dropping, dropping it down. We're going for 15 seconds on this. Leading with that chest. Come up as you need to. Good job, good job. You'll start feeling those arms shake a little bit. That's all right. A little bit longer. Three, two, all right. Let's come on up to split stance position now. One big step back. Weights through that front heel. Staying low as you can. Postures up strong. There we go. Good job keeping the weight through the front heel. If you're having issues with the balance, go ahead and get to a wall or something sturdy to hold yourself. Three, two, all right. Switching legs. Pulsing it down there. 
You'd be surprised that these exercises will get your heart rate up as well, even though you're not doing any type of running or plyometric because you're working so many muscles doing these pulses. All right, five more seconds. Go a little bit lower if you can. There we go. Three, two, awesome. Plank position. We're going to do that 20-second hold. Good. Similar to all the other exercises, we're going to keep the head even with the back. You want to watch the shoulders rounding. Uh, that's the main thing. The other thing you want to watch is the butt lifting up in the air. Holly's got a great form here. Just try to copy this and you'll be solid working those right muscles in the middle. Five to go. We have one more round. Three, two, awesome round there. Last one, round number three, plie squat, pulsing it out. Even though you're feeling a little tired, you got to give this round all you got. We will get a break after these four exercises. Get those hips as far as you can back and then drop it straight down. Good job, good job. Keeping the weight through the heels, most important thing. We got five more seconds, almost there. Three, two, push up position. We're pulsing it for 15 seconds. Try to go the whole way, even though those arms are shaking, those muscles are feeling it. You got to. Just come up a little bit if you can't. Keep it at that halfway point. Perfect. Leading with the chest. Keeping the tension on those arms. And three, two, great pulses there. Let's bring it up to split stance position. Big step back. Pulsing through the front heel. There we go. Good job, good job. 90 degrees to that front leg. All the back knee's doing is dropping and getting as close to the ground as it can. Five more seconds. There we go. Good strong posture. Three, two, let's switch legs. Here we go. Pulsing it down. Those legs are shaking and your balance is starting to suffer. Don't, be, don't hesitate to get close to a wall just to hold yourself up for a little bit. It's better to do the form perfect with a little support than try to fight that balance problem. All right, three. Two, plank holding for 20, taking a break. Let's finish up strong. Holly's going the whole time on her toes here. If you need to, drop to the knees on the plank, especially as you get more fatigue, you can do that. You just want to keep that back as straight as you can. You're still getting good core work in. You'll progress faster. Remember, doing these exercises completely correct. Almost there, breathing through it. Three, two, perfect. Take a 30 second break. We'll come back for circuit number three. All right, y'all, we got circuit number three. We're starting off in the plie squat position. We're going to do full squats first, full squats for 20, driving all the way back. Hips are leading the movement, powering through the heels. We're going for 20 seconds, and we'll do a 10-second pulse after this, staying in the plie squat. Here we go. Get them way back there. There we go. Get to that parallel point. Five more to go. We're going to stay low and pulse it. Three. Two, all right, let's pulse it on down, keeping the weight as low as you can, always making sure those hips are going way back there. There we go. Good, strong upper body posture. Way back, way back. Good job. We got three, two, awesome. Let's go down to push-up position, full rep in it here. Full reps on the push-ups. Good. Notice how the chest is leading that movement here, not jutting her head forward. Lower back is staying strong. There's no uh, rounding swaying of that low back core staying really strong in the middle five more seconds we're going to bring it on up one more push-up that's good pop it up alternate reverse lunges big step back keep the weight through the front heel there we go focusing on that front heel the whole time here all the weight's going through that when she's taking her big step back she's not letting any weight go on that back foot it's just kind of once it hits back there, it's just stabilizing, and then the back knee drops straight down. Five more seconds here. We're dropping it down to mountain climbers. Ready, ready, ready. Three, two, let's hit mountain climber position now. Chest over those thumbs. There we go. Notice how the back of her head is completely even with the spine here. That means that her core is completely engaged. Her shoulders aren't rounded. That means she's not getting any tightness up top. 
Lengthening that body out. Perfect. Five more to go. Round one will be done. Three, two, perfect. Let's bring it on up. Plie squats for 20. Get them back there. We have two more rounds to go. Good. Controlling that breathing. We're going in through the nose as you go down. Big out breath as you come up. There we go. Driving those hips back there. Perfect. Five more to go. We're going to stay low and pulse it out. Three, two, all right. Stay low and pulse it. Perfect. So remember, you want to get to that parallel point. Ideally, if, if it's not happening right now, it will in the future. So you can just stay up a little bit higher. Always keeping those hips back though. Three, two, all right. Let's go down to push-up position. Full rep in those push-ups for 20. Here we go. There we go. Chest is leading that movement. Perfect. Good job, good job. Notice how the arms are kind of staying in tight so she's not flaring them out, causing those shoulders to shrug up. There we go. She's going lower than halfway. Perfect. After this one, we'll do one more. Do one more with us. There we go. Three, two. All right, let's pop it on up. Alternate reverse lunges. Big step back there. Good, good, good. Notice how the posture is staying up strong. You want to make sure that you're not leaning forward too much because that will cause the knee to also lean forward. And so you don't want the knee to go over that big toe. There we go. Big step back, driving through the heel. Perfect. Got a couple more to go. Five more seconds. We're going down to mountain climbers. To finish off round two. Three, two. All right, mountain climb it up. Good. She's staying on her toes the whole time. If you need to, of course, you can drop to the knees like we showed you earlier on this video. There we go. Either way, you're getting a good core workout. If you have to go to your knees, all it means is you need to you know, progress and you'll strengthen out the core. Three, two, all right. Last round, plie squat position. Full squats, driving them back there. There we go. Powering through those heels. There we go. Hitting that parallel point before we're coming up. Perfect. Good. Nice and controlled breathing over here. If your heart rate's up high, just really focus on that breathing. You'll get oxygen back in. You'll be able to keep going. We have a few more minutes for the workout. Five more seconds. All right. Let's pulse it on down now. Pulsing it out. Keeping it low. Keeping it low. Perfect. 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 Keep the weight through the heels. Get those hips as far back as you can. Then go as low as you can. Ready? Three. Two push-up position. Let's rep them out here. Good. In through the nose as you go down on these. Big out breath as you come up. There we go. Driving them, driving them, driving them. Perfect. Keeping the tension on. She's got a good rhythm. She's not spending a lot of time at the top on the break. If you need to, of course, you can take a quick break and catch up with us. We've got one more push-up. Perfect. Bring it on up. Alternate reverse lunges. Two more exercises and a break, y'all. You got it. There we go. Big step back, making sure that front leg's about 90 degrees. Got it. As you get more tired, your balance will start to suffer. If it does, then get close to the wall. Find something to hold on to to finish off these lunges. You don't want to have to be struggling with your balance on this, all right? Let's go four, five more seconds. Good, good, good. Three. Two, perfect. Mountain climbing position. Chest over those thumbs. Here we go. Got it, got it, got it. Get them out wide. Perfect, perfect, perfect. Almost there. Good, strong, straight. Body completely parallel with the ground. Five more to go. Almost there. Finishing on the knees. Three. Two, perfect. Let's take a break. We're coming back for a metabolic burnout. Great job. All right, y'all, we're here for the metabolic burnout. We've got three exercises. We're going to start off with plie squat pulses for 20 seconds. 
We got plie squat pulses, push up pulses, high knees for three sets. The workout will be done. So you want to get those hips back as far back as you can and sitting way back through those heels. Keeping them low, keeping them low. Good job, good job. Five more to go. We're going down to push up pulses. Three, two, awesome. Let's drop it down. One good push up. You want to stay about that halfway point. It's an ideal position. There we go, there we go. Notice how that back is staying really strong. The back of her head is completely even with the spine. Looking good with the pulses here. A little bit lower. Perfect. Three, two, all right. Let's high knee it up. High knees in place for the last exercise here. That'll finish off round one. We got two more to go. Getting them up there, getting them up there. Five seconds. Back to plie squat. Three, two, all right. Plie squat position. Pulsing on down. Good, good, good. Remember, ideal position is that halfway point. If you need to, you can just come up a little bit, making sure that the hips stay really far back and the weight stays through the heels. Good job. We got five more seconds here. Keeping it low, keeping it low. Three, two, push up position. Let's go and drop it down right into a pulse, staying as close as you can to that halfway point. Same rule as we talked about with the plie squat for this one. If you need to, just come up a little bit. Try to keep the tension on with the elbows bent the whole time. Five to go. There we go, there we go. Three, two, all right, let's high knee it up. Leaning it back, getting those legs up there. If you need to at this point to just kind of march it out, you can slow down and just pick those legs up. Ready, one more round. Three, two, plie squat position. Let's drop it on down. Low as you can. It's your last round, y'all. You got to give it all you got. You got to get as low as you can, finishing up strong. There we go. Get them back there. Get them back there. Halfway point. Let's try to get as low as you can, finishing up, finishing up. Just five more to go. Dropping it, dropping it, dropping it down. Three, two, all right. Push up position, pulsing it out. Just 15 quick seconds. Leading with that chest, keeping a really strong straight back, just like Hall is doing here. Leading with the chest, keeping the tension on. Perfect. Stop if you need to. Five more seconds. You can do the whole way. Three, two, all right. High knee it up. <laughs> get them up there. Get them up there. March it out if you need to, but try to at least run it in place to finish this up. There we go. There we go. Last five. Get them up there. Get them up there. Get them up there. Perfect. Three. Two, awesome job. Burnout over, workout done. Great workout. Hope you're sweating it up just like we are here. See you for the next one.